I just want to uh, begin by saying, you know, I'm really proud of, of my guys, um, you know, re really thankful for them. Um, you know, they've, I told them in the locker room, they've been really honoring the process now for weeks. And I know the whole world sees the results. I, I know this is a result-oriented business. Um, but, but as coaches, no one wants a team to win more than coaches, but we have to focus on the process. And our guys had a great process going to the Cayman Islands. They had great process coming out of the Cayman Islands. And I know the results will follow. Um, you know, we, we have to keep striving, not for perfection, but for being locked in for 40 minutes. And this is the closest uh, we've been this year to being locked in for 40 minutes. So um, I'm really proud of them. We led for 39 minutes of the game. Um, you, you know, that Kennesaw State team is, is a good ball club. Um, Coach Pedway is doing an amazing job. Um, you know, they, they, they play fast, they're tough. Um, you know, they, they play with a, sh a chip on their shoulder. Um, they're really hard to go against. And they're better than what their record showed. I'm sure everyone saw. I mean, they lost on a full court shot, um, you, know, you know, coming in, uh, you know, off of three games in three days. So to come in here, you know, off of a heartbreaking loss like that, um, you know, back-to-back -back road trips and to play the way that they did, that, that speaks to the kind of character they've got in their program. So this is a really good win for us, and, and, and we're hoping that we're, we're going to really be able to build from there. Um, it's also incredibly important for me, you know, on the heels of Thanksgiving um, to just talk about how thankful we are for Panther Nation, um, how thankful uh, we are for everyone that helps put this game together. Um, obviously, you know, start with administration. I'm grateful for administration, uh, you know, making it possible for us to be able to go to the Cayman Islands. It's a once in a lifetime trip. Uh, we're not able to do that, you know, without their okay. Um, but, man, there was so much going on this past week or so here at FIU. Um, you know, NCAA tournament, soccer game, um, women's basketball just had an MTE here this, this weekend. There was a triple header today. Um, so I want to get a, give a shout out to all the games ops people, um, the equipment people, um, marketing. I mean, what they were, what what they've done in this last couple of weeks. Um, you know, for to work, have to work that hard on, on a holiday um, speaks to how dedicated they are. And, and I know. I speak for my program, and I know I speak for our department. We're just so thankful for all the work that everyone put in. And this is a Sunday night. There's a lot going on on Sunday. It's an NFL Sunday. And to have the crowd that we had tonight, man, just, just really grateful to Panther Nation. Um, they, they, they really helped uh, us pull through. And, um, you know, this again, great win for us. This is the second game in a row. We've held a team to under 40% from the field shooting, under 30% from three. Um, if we can do that and, and turn people over, then, then our defense can really be a problem. So um, just want to open with that. Yeah, and Coach mentioned the strength of Kennesaw State. It was an NCAA tournament team last year that lost by five points to Xavier in the first round. Um, something to hit on there as well. So we're going to turn it over to Alex here from Pause Up, and uh, he'll ask a few questions. Hi, Coach. Uh, what did you Yeah, I mean, he, he's a senior, you know, and, uh, you know, he's been a great vocal leader um, e ever since the summer. And, you know, he, he's always ready to step up. Um, he's always ready to say the hard things um, as a player. And, you know, it's really hard to say things that hold your teammates accountable, you know, when, when they're your peers and you got to go back to the dorm and hang out with them. And, you know, he, he, he's not afraid to – to, to say things that, you know, might ruffle some feathers. So um, I'm really proud of him. He, he, he's really worked on his leadership. And, you know, I told him in there, you know, everyone's going to look at the 22 points, which is awesome. But what I look at is 20, almost 26 minutes of game play, and he had one turnover. Um, so that, that's, that's what senior point guards do. Um, they lead, they take care of the ball, they make solid decisions. And then I thought Arturo really came in the second half and, and gave us a lift defensively. So, um, you know, the, the, there's a couple things, you know, we, we still, you know, I, 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 we got to cut these turnover numbers down. Uh, you know, we, we, we got to keep the other team off the glass. Um, and, and we're going to keep striving to do that. But, you know, we, we continue to do that, then, you know, we're going to put ourselves in position to, to go on a run. Wow, that's a good stat. I, I didn't realize that, but I guess I have felt that. Um, you know, uh, again, um, you know, my, this team has so much fight and they have so much competitive character. 
and they never give up. And when adversity hits, uh, sets in, uh, you know, we always dig in and make a run. But I've told these guys, you know, it'd be, it'd be nice to make the other team have to ha have to uh, go on a run against us. So, you know, it was nice to, to go into halftime locker room with a lead. We were up 11 with about two and change, and they cut that in half to five. So, again, you know, we, just, we, we have a couple lapses here and there that are within our control. Um, that, that we have to try to try to limit that. And again, we don't need to play perfect. We don't need to make every shot. The other team doesn't need to miss every shot. But we have to cut out the my bads. We need to be perfect in terms of not having uh, any my bads in the game. You know, a my bad would be, you know, a careless or reckless turnover. A my bad would mean uh, missing a block out. A my bad would be not executing a play call. A my bad would be not communicating on defense. Those are things that we can be perfect at. Um, there's no defense um, for, for – the, the, no, no one can make you have a my bad. Um, and, and the more we can limit those, um, the, more, the more we can limit somebody coming back to our bench and being like, my bad. Um, a missed shot's not a my bad. Getting scored on isn't a my bad. Um, but I, I, I thought, you know, we're, we're making progress towards that. These guys fight every single day. Um, you know, you, you, you would think the, the, the record is flipped if you came into one of our practices. And that's a credit to their, these guys and, and their, their, their fight and their passion to want to be great for Panther Nation. They want to be good so bad. And, and they're willing to sacrifice. They're willing to commit. And, uh, you know, we're, we're going to keep striving to be the best version of ourselves because our best is good enough to, to beat anybody on our schedule. Yeah, Coach, you talked about before the season just the highly competitive non-conference schedule when what that can do to kind of put the program on a pedestal and on a platform, whether it's playing against UCF or Miami, all those games in the Cayman Islands. Now you have another opportunity, a nationally televised game on Wednesday night against FGCU here inside the Ocean Bank Convocation Center. Just give us a preview um, of that and kind of the opportunity that exists here. Yeah, our schedule up to this point, what are we eight games in, has, has been chock full of teams with NCAA aspirations. But, you know, newsflash, we got NCAA aspirations too. Um, and, you know, we haven't been fully up to the task to finish some of these games against some really good ball clubs that are very experienced, but we've been right there. And, and we've been learning. We've been growing from them. I, I told them one of my favorite shows growing up, you know, I'm an 80s baby, uh, was Growing Pains. And, and, and when you grow, there's going to be pains. And, you know, the, the pains will continue to grow. But, you know, we, we, can grow, we can still win some of these games, a lot of these games, uh, you know, w w while going through some of these pains. And, and, and that's certainly the goal. And as long as we can embrace adversity and, and, and you know, truly find out what we're made of when we go through this adversity, um, you know, so, some great things can happen. But, um, you know, I, I, I'm proud of how we fought, um, you know, against almost every team. You know, we, we, we've had a couple. We've had a couple poor games where we just weren't ourselves. But um, you know, by and large, man, we're we're, we're empty in the tank, and that's what happened tonight. And as far as it goes, Wednesday, you know, this is one of our biggest non-conference rivals. Uh, maybe it's our biggest non-conference rival in uh, Florida Gulf Coast. And you know, the fact that we have a nationally televised game coming here to the Ocean Bank. You know, I, j I just couldn't be more grateful for that. And our players deserve this opportunity. Our university deserves this opportunity. And again, this record might be ugly now, um, but but the plan is it's not going to be ugly when, when, when it really matters. And, you know, we, we, we have to keep fighting to just be the best version of ourselves every day, to win each and every day, and uh, some great things can happen.